All right. Good morning. Well, it's afternoon. Sorry. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Tatiana Russell. Um, I'm the help desk manager here for WildTech. Um, I have probably spoken with a lot of you who called um, in the help desk um, if you had any issues um, or just questions about the program. Um, so I'm going to be going over basically what, how to utilize the help desk and what you should be doing um, Oh, how to leave a voicemail, how to leave an email for the help desk. So I know a lot of you call to get assistance, um, but I know some of you, um, you might not leave a voicemail and then you, we can't get back to you to help you with your issue. So I'm going to be going over ways um, to utilize the help desk um, and how to um, solve some of these issues on your own before even calling the help desk. So I'm going to be go, going over some things as well. Um, Alex, I cannot see my presentation. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm going to do the introduction, and, okay. then, and then you can um, go ahead and share your screen. Okay, so. thank you. Yep. So um, I'm not sure if we have any newcomers today. I'll be um, checking the participants list periodically throughout the session. But um, uh, again, this program, it provides you this iPad, which you're using right now to get on the class. It also has the wireless broadband internet, so you can use it within and outside of your home. And you'll also have access to this online training. You have face-to-face -face training as your library and we have the help desk, which provides tech support. So in order to participate in the program, you must remain in sole possession of the iPad. You must have participated in a free one-on-one -on -one, um, telephone training uh, with, for example, with either me or Tatiana or one of our other trainers, or you may have had your training at a local library. You must participate in at least six of these afternoon sessions over Zoom to complete that requirement. And you must also respond to the midterm survey that is emailed to you around three months after you join the program. So um, that just lets us know how we're doing, how we can improve um, the program, things of that nature. So of course you must also utilize the iPad at least three days per week, read the occasional emails we send you and give us permission to send you texts just in case we need an update or need to give you an update, it's important that if we communicate you that you get back to us um, ASAP. <clears throat> um, that midterm survey, again, it's been emailed to all participants who have their iPads for at least three months. So if you have any questions, if you have completed it or if you need help completing it, please call our help desk at 202-800-6868 or email the survey email, which is survey at wildtech.org. The survey will look like this where uh, they'll say, um, please fill out the midterm survey, you hit fill out form, and then um, you just fill out the form. Okay, next up, we have our library trainings for this week. So if you need any in-person assistance um, with your iPad regarding um, any settings, any apps that we can assist you with, these are the next four upcoming trainings. So tomorrow, We'll be at Northeast Library, 337th Street Northeast from 1230 to 3.30. On Thursday of this week, March 16th, we'll be at Anacostia Library, 1800 Good Hope Road from 1.30 to 4.30. Next Monday, March 20th, we will be at Francis Gregory Library, 3660 Alabama Avenue Southeast from 1230 to 3.30. And then next Wednesday, March 22nd, we'll be at Southwest Library, 900 Western Place, Southwest from 1230 to 330. How do you make an appointment? You ca again, call the help desk, 202-800-6868, or email the library at wildtech.org to reserve your time slot. Um, if you reserve your time slot, you, we'll already know what you need assistance with, so we can better prepare beforehand and make sure you get as much attention and help as we can provide. So. Again, just call us or email us if you would like to um, reserve an appointment at the library. Um, just like in the emails that we've been sending you, uh, we are having a talent show. So we're seeking 15 volunteers or participants to um, join the talent show. Of course, there's prizes as well. Um, so please reach out to our colleague Zion Griggs to receive a participant form or to ask a question about the form. So you can see her number and her email at the bottom of the flyer. And this flyer is also found in the daily reminder. So please check that out and you will uh, be able to participate. Okay. 
So again, next, please make sure your screen is showing if you wish to receive credit for this class. If you're showing as iPad or Zoom user or anything else, we don't know who you are. So again, it's really important that you show your screen name to receive credit. How do you change your screen name? You go to Zoom. Once you are in Zoom, you hit participants, okay? So make sure your screen is blank pretty much. So make sure you hit participants and you only have to look at the first two lines. The first line will always be you. That's why it says me. And the second person will always be the host. That's why it says host. And then it will be everybody else in the call. So you only have to focus on the first line as long as it says your name. So for me, Alexander Bell, great. I, I don't have to worry about it. But again, if it said iPad or a Zoom user or anything else, we won't be able to give you credit. So you have to tap in that area, the first line where it's whatever, me, and then you'll be able to hit rename. So once you hit rename, you're able to edit, delete, add whatever text you may need, but just make sure your first and last name is showing. It will change once you hit done. Also in Zoom, please make sure you know how to raise your hand. So at the end of the session, um, Tatiana will be answering questions and in order to keep the meeting organized, um, we, you have to raise your hand in order to ask a question. So you hit more, when you hit more, hit raise hand. So it's pretty easy. You hit more and then raise hand in order to ask a question. Your hand will come up in the list. We go through the list of hands and we answer your questions in the order that we receive them. So again, make sure your name is showing on Zoom in the participants menu. And then make sure if you have a question, please raise your hand by hitting the more button and then hitting raise hand. Okay, so um, again, if you have any questions, please direct message me on Zoom. But other than that, let's, uh, I'm gonna hand it off to um, Tatiana. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and share your screen, Tatiana. All righty. All right, once again, good afternoon, everyone. I'm gonna be going over how to use and utilize the help desk. All right, so once again, my name is Tatiana Russell. I'm the help desk manager here at Wild Tech. All right, so what is the help desk purpose? What is the purpose of this help desk? So what we do is we answer logistical questions about the senior iPad program. So if you have, you have questions about anything in the program, you can also you can call the help desk. We also answer questions that are technical. So about the iPad device, any problems or issues you may be dealing with with the iPad, you can give us a call. Technical. I'm going to go into uh, I'm going to go into detail about what technical support issues I'm referring to. So what happens is we troubleshoot iPad issues and other devices that can only be used with the iPad. I'm going to explain a little bit more about what that means. Then we answer logistical questions. So that means any program or iPad questions. We also schedule in-person library trainings as well. So you can give us a call if you would like to schedule an in-person library training. All right, so things that as, as help desk we cannot assist with. So other devices, so that means other cell phones, printers, if you have a Wi-Fi modem and a router at home, that's not something we can help with. Now, if you need it, if you need assistance with those devices associated with the iPad, so if it can be used with the iPad, we can help with that. So for example, if you wanna know how to print, right? Using your iPad, okay, we can help you with that. But if you wanna help, need help setting up your printer to do that, that's something we cannot do. But that doesn't mean we're gonna tell you, well, we can't help you with it. We'll give you some direction, but we won't be able to solve that issue. Um, we only deal with the iPad and questions or issues about the iPad, okay? Um, also things we don't assist with is cosmetic damages to the iPad. So let's just say um, you happen to drop it or break the screen um, or it's cracked. That's not something that we can assist with. Like I said, we can give you direction on what some uh, what you may can do to help the issue, but we can't provide assistance for that or replace the screen or do any of that. But we will give you some some direction. 
All right, so here are the Help Desk Associates. So myself again, Tatiana Russell. So many of you may have spoken with um, Derek Cooper, who's also a um, Help Desk Associate, as well as Jaden Smith. So I just wanted to put name to faces, faces to name, so you can kind of see, you know, who's at the other end of the phone, okay? Um, so these are the faces of the Help Desk team, okay? All right, so how to contact the help desk. So you're gonna see a lot of this information already in your email, discussed in your Zoom module trainings. So the phone number here is 202-800-6868. You also, many of you probably don't know this, but you can also email us at the help desk at wildtech.org. Okay, so you can also email us as well with your issue or your question. What is our help desk hours of operation? So we answer live calls from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, okay? Now, any calls that are left after hours, they will be returned within one business day, but only if you leave a voicemail. That's the most important part. You have to leave a voicemail, okay? All right, so when are the times you should leave a voicemail? So you should leave a voicemail if you cannot get connected with the help desk representative or associate. So let's just say you give us a call, all right, it goes straight to voicemail, you can't get um, connected with the help desk representative, you need to leave, especially if the issue or your question is urgent and you really want it to be uh, someone to contact you back, you want to leave a voicemail. Okay, you also want to leave a voicemail when the help desk is closed. Okay, so usually between the hours of 4 p.m. to 10 a.m. we are closed, but you can leave a voicemail as well as weekends. So sometimes you might be using your iPad on the weekends when the help desk is closed and you might have a question or an issue that you need to um, get off your chest right then and there. Because sometimes um, I can't remember things, so I have to like, write it down right then and there. Um, so I would say that's a good time to leave a voicemail for the help desk, just so that you can have that in your memory. Um, we also, you also should leave a voicemail during federal and DC holidays if you do have a question or um, an iPad issue during um, those times when the help desk is closed. All right, so this is extremely important. What your email and voicemail should contain. So if you're, if you're giving us a call and you leave a, you leave a voicemail, or if you email the help desk at wildtech.org, you need to make sure that you have your first and last name, the best phone number to be reached, a detailed description about your issue or issues or question or questions, okay? And what's your availability to be called, to receive a call back, okay? So the reason why we want it to be framed this way or to have all this information is because it helps us be able to know um, what issue you may have, as well as who we need to call back, when we should call you back um, as well. And then usually once you leave a voicemail, you should receive a response within one business day, sometimes even sooner, maybe even the same day. But our, our um, responses is one business day. All right, so let's just say we do give you a call back, right? Or if you call us, how you should prepare, okay? When you're calling the help desk, make sure that you have your iPad with you, okay? Sometimes we'll get calls, and um, we'll get calls, and you'll, you know, some seniors may ha not have their iPad with them, or they may, you know, be out um, somewhere else for an appointment, and you don't have your iPad physically with you, and so we can't assist you right then and there. So I would say if you do have that issue. Um, or question, have your iPad with you, make sure it's charged and that it's turned on so that you're ready to go, okay? Um, now, sometimes you can solve these issues yourselves before even calling the help desk, but what are some common things you can do? So you can try turning your iPad back on or back off to see if that helps the issue. Um, another thing is making sure your software is up to date. So a lot of the stuff you're going to be learning throughout the Zoom module classes. Um, so you'll understand what that means if you don't know what that is already. All right, so what are some frequently asked questions? So these are these are actually answers to some frequent, frequently asked questions. So for example, what how um, what is the meeting ID and the passcode to get into Zoom? So this always remains the same, okay? 
Another question um, that we usually get is how to contact Department of Aging. This is their number here. It's this 202-724-5626. So if you have any questions specifically for the Department of Aging, you can contact this number. All right, so I, here are, I'm giving you other resources to help you answer your questions or solve your issues, um, even before you call us or after you call us. All right, so some important things to do is you should, um, and these are all um, um, suggestions, okay? So you can take notes during the Zoom module trainings. I know writing things down um, is good practice, okay? Um, good practice for retention, okay? Um, checking your email daily for events and program information. Um, also keep attending the Zoom classes to always refresh your memory, okay? Um, browsing the web using the Safari app. And yet, like I said, if you don't know in, what any of this is all right now, you will learn um, during the Zoom module trainings. Um, but browsing the web and using the Safari app um, to search your issue or your question. There's also how-to videos, okay, on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube, you're just like, how can I do this with my iPad? Or what does this mean? You can, you can use, you have so many resources at your fingertips, okay? Um, now, WildTech, the WildTech Alliance, we also have a YouTube page that the Zoom module trainings go on. So if you want to watch and review the Zoom module trainings on, on YouTube, you can do that. Also, you can access the Wildtech videos at the wildtech.org slash DACL DACL or select the WTA DACL shortcut on your iPad. So a shortcut, it just basically looks like one of your apps on your on your iPad and it's and it's called WTA DACL. Okay, and last but not least, this is the help desk survey, okay? So what happens is if one of our associates assists you, so either me, Tatiana, Derek Cooper, or Jaden Smith, if one of us help you, okay, you may receive a help desk survey that's gonna be sent to your email, okay? So some of you probably have already filled one out and it's it's brief, it's not long, um, but we just want your feedback and uh, how your experience was, if we solved your issue, it just helps us better um, our customer service, okay? Um, and it also gives us an idea of what you may be struggling with or what you want to learn more on so that we can um, make sure that you um, get that information, okay? So I'm going to just show, show you briefly um, what it looks like. So right now, this is the Wildtech Help Desk Support Survey. So this contains your first, first name, your last name. It's going to ask who was the help desk representative that assists you today? Okay. And then sometimes you may not remember who it was and that's okay. You can put unsure if you didn't know. Um, and then you're just going to, you know, rate how you feel about if, you know, if we did resolve your issue, okay, on a scale one through five from poor to excellent. Um, how likely are you to call the help desk again for assistance? Okay. Not likely to highly likely. Was the Wildtech help desk able to solve the issue called about yes or no? Do you feel confident the help desk has provided the support you need to use your iPad? Okay, do you feel that after we solved the issue, do you think you're, you're confident enough to be like, oh, okay, I can do this on my own? Yes or no? Do you feel that you need more training in a specific area? So you can say yes or no, and then you can choose which area you think you would need a little bit of improvement on, okay? And then we love feedback. So if you have any suggestions for us, like for anything, it's fine. You can go and you can put it in the box below. If you responded to yes, you can provide your feedback, okay? All right, that is my last slide. All right, so I am taking questions um, only pertaining to um, the presentation today. So if you do have any questions about your iPad or issues, please call the help desk, okay? That's the important part here. So if you have any questions about the slide um, presentation today, you, I can answer those questions. Great, great job, Tatiana, that was so informative. Um, one, one thing that you could um, go over that I would, that is really helpful, can you um, just open the daily reminder email and kind of talk about how that can assist with like certain questions like what's going on, like 
how to read the email. I think that would be really helpful. Sure, sure. Okay. And that's the email um, that Teresa sends out? Or yes. Yes. Okay, got you. I am going to pull that up now. Give me one moment. Cool. And, and uh, while she pulls it up, just make sure that you guys look through, uh, make sure that you look at it every Monday on Monday morning, it shows you the whole week. So that way you can plan your week out in advance. So that way you know what you want to do. And, you know, it's just really easy just to hop in a button and you already know what's um, going on for that session. Okay. Am I still sharing my screen? Let me. Check. Yeah, I see. Okay. I see your schedule, which helps, and then okay. you can open that, and then open Good. today's email, for example, from Teresa. Okay. All right. Are you able to see it? My screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right. So yes. So this isn't. This is why it's important to make sure that you are looking in your emails every single day, looking through your email, because there's just so much information on in these emails. Okay. So. For example, we have today right here, we have at 1030, the advanced technical training. Okay, so that just passed. Okay, and then it just gives you an overview on what you're gonna be learning or what you're gonna be listening to. Okay, um, and then it gives you how to even get onto the Zoom. Okay, so to join the meeting, and this is for those who you know do the advanced classes. If you join the classes at 1.30, if you join lunch club, this is for everybody. Okay, to join the Zoom at um, at the 10.30, you can press the button to get in. It also has the Zoom ID and the passcode already on the button. Okay, the same thing for the lunch club. It gives you an overview. Okay. And then you have Teresa's contact information here um, in regards to lunch club. And then the button is here. So the button's here more is on here more than three times. Okay. So you have you have all the information you actually need in this one email. Okay. So if you want to join lunch club at 12, you can press this button. And then we have here, okay, today, oh, Monday. Um, Tatiana, can yes. um, you're showing the you're showing the Google Calendar. Can you show the um her actual email. Oh, okay. I thought that's what I was sh uh, sharing. I'm sorry. Yeah. You're, so you're so, no, it's okay. It's oh, so you're showing okay. the schedule. Can you open like her the actual email and kind of go through it? Oh, okay. That's what I'm looking at. But I guess you guys can't see. No, we see it. the Google Calendar. But just oh, go and open okay, your that's... emails. Okay. Let me hold on. Let me reshare my screen. That's a, I was talking about that portion the whole time. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. So good. Go okay. That the was top. the wrong. Okay. Got you. That was the wrong screen. All right. Okay. So I'm going to start again. Okay. So um, you can see here that has today's date. Okay. And then I'm going to go down. Okay. So we have all of the trainings and the information of the trainings or Zoom events in this one email, okay? So for example, we have for today's date um, for at 1030, have the advanced training. It tells you what the topic is and then it tells you an overview of what you're gonna be learning, okay? So today's topic at 1030 was about hoarding, okay? Then I'm gonna go down Oh, one important thing too is that the button below, as you can see here, okay, this button is how you can get into the meeting. So you're e looking at your emails daily is just very, very, very important, okay? So to join the Zoom meeting at 1030, you can tap on the button below. As you can see here too, the button also contains the Zoom ID and the passcode on it as well. The same thing for the lunch club, okay? It tells you the time, the date, and what the topic is, and the overview of what you're gonna be talking about, okay? And what you're gonna be listening to. So you can see here that you can contact Teresa, okay, at this email, and then you also have the button below. So the button you see here, you might gonna, you're gonna be seeing more than once, Okay, so you have all the information you need to join um, any of these meetings, okay? All right, I'm, I'm coming up to the one, 
the current meeting, which is at 1.30, okay? And this is how the Wild Tech Help Desk can assist you, okay? And then here we have the Help Desk number, okay? And then we have our hours of operation, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., which is very important. And then we also have the button here to get into the Zoom class again, once again. So you have, like I said, you have that more than once, okay? So you can access that to join the Zoom meeting at 1.30, tap on the button below, all right? And then here we have Tuesday. So you have the you have almost the full week on here, okay? And it's just, it, it goes through this, it's the same pattern, okay? So you have Tuesday's date, okay? The topic, the overview, okay? How to get onto Zoom, okay? The date, okay? And who is presenting? So there's just, there's just um, a copious amount of information, okay? And then we have Wednesday. So I can I can go through all of it, but you just have the full week um, of, of, of activities and events um, that you're going to be doing on Zoom. Um, let's see here. Yep, Thursday and you have up until Friday. So you have the full week in this email and how to get in. So it's so important to look at your email first. Um, I would say if you have any questions, logistical questions about Zoom, how to get into the meeting, you should always check your email, especially if you want, want to know more information about a specific um, Zoom class, you have all this information here in this one email, um, even how to contact some people. Um, here's another important thing. So uh, if you're interested in scheduling any um, library trains, get, getting in-person help or in-person support or training, um, you have the, you have the date, the time, as well as the location of the library training. So that's also important. And here yeah, again, that's updated, yeah. that's updated every day. So yes. every day the library flyer is updated. So once you look at tomorrow's, you know, you'll see the next four upcoming trainings. So that way you can look at them. They're all confirmed. So that way you can make an appointment and know you're going to that library. Yes. So, yes. And then here again, you even have the help desk Okay, number the 202 800 number 6868. So, um, you sh yeah, so all of this information is here. There's just so much information, um, here as well. All right, all right. So, um, yeah, and ahead. then at the bottom, sorry, um, yes. uh, Gmail doesn't, if you view the entire message, um, at the bottom, um, you can find all of the emails, um, that you can email to ask for assistance. So um, there is the attendance email, there is the uh, midterm survey email, the library nice. um, email. And then I didn't know the, well, uh, that the help desk had an email. So I'll go ahead and add that to the reminder. And that way you can contact our help desk in two different ways. Yes. And then, yeah, and then right above the emails, we um, are just having um, some information about the current month. So this is Women's History Month. So each week we're going to highlight um, so someone um, regarding that month. So um, just please look through the email. It has a lot of information and, and it's very informative. Oh, you muted yourself, Tatiana. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Um, so yeah, the, the, the email, I think checking your email daily is just most important thing. Um, it just, there's just like, you mentioned there's just so much information um and you know if you if you do like i said if you do have any ipad questions or issues before you do call the help desk try using all the resources that you have at hand okay so that includes looking at your email trying to do things um um uh you know to uh, create solutions um that you think you you may can solve the issue by yourself um so just see and if you you know you feel like you know what i definitely need that extra support or assistance please give us a call um and when you call leave a voice definitely leave a voicemail um but make sure that you have your question your name and a callback number because if we if you don't have that in the voicemail or if you call and you just hang up we can't help you we can't assist you um sometimes we'll get voicemails that are completely blank okay so we want to make sure that we're assisting everyone that we can um and the help desk is utilized for helping you solve issues or at or answering program questions so if you have any like questions after um you know your zoom training zoom module training is over um feel free to give us a call 
Um, you know, I know that, you know, the instructors here can also answer your questions, but I want to really stress that the help desk is here. So um, just definitely give us a call, email us. We also have an email. So you can, you can bombard us with questions and give us a call, okay? Um, I'd rather you use us as a resource more so because that's what the help, de help desk is for, to give you guys support um, to troubleshoot your iPad issues as well. 